Sports Extra, 20 minutes of local team highlights. Brought to you exclusively by Hiller's Flooring America. Well, good evening, sports fans, and welcome to Sports Extra. We are just past the halfway point of the regular season, and it was picture perfect out there tonight. I'm Mark Powell, alongside sports director Pat Lund. We've got you covered from Winona to Austin and everywhere in between, but we start tonight's show right here in Rochester. All right, here we go. One and three, Lourdes looking to snap a three-game losing streak against the top-ranked Caledonia Warriors. Winners of 58 straight games and the four-time defending 2A champs. The Warriors would strike first. Noah King, two brother Eli King for the TD. Those two would work together a lot tonight. Second quarter, King rolls. He'll once again find Eli in the end zone, and the Warriors jump out to a 12-0 lead. But the Eagles didn't back down. They kept plugging away. Nolan Jurgensen goes downfield. On the other end is Colin Mead. There he is with the TD catch, and it's a 12-7 ball game. The Warriors answered the big play. We saw this last week when Caledonia hosted uh, Chatfield. Eli King has got so many moves in space. Look at this kid. Work his way down the field, sees a whole lot of green and a whole lot of glory for six. The Warriors went into the break leading 18-7. to seven. The King to King things kind of work here. Here the two connect <laughs> again on the touchdown pass. Boy, I hope Eli thinks about playing some football in college because he'd look awfully good in a uniform on Saturday afternoons. Caledonia with the 24-7 win over Lourdes. The Eagles were game tonight, just not enough horses against the Warriors. Caledonia once again looks like the favorite for the state title. They look sharp tonight. Our very own Naomi Gray is live at the Regional Sports Stadium and has more on tonight's game. Mark, Pat, I'm sure you're with me on this one, but 59 straight games without a loss is something unheard of. Yet here I was witnessing the Caledonia Warriors pull it off in commanding fashion. For the fifth straight game, Coach Carl Frichty's defense didn't allow its opponent in the end zone more than once. But its offense definitely met its match against a Lord front who held the team to its lowest victory this season with just those 24 points. And we knew it was going to be a hard one for the Lord Eagles to escape. But Coach Frichty tells me he has the utmost respect for Mike Kessler and his program. Program. Yeah, they deserve all the credit in the world. We talked about it all week as a coaching staff. We knew they were going to be physical. We knew they were going to play hard. We knew that they were going to be very well coached. And they were exactly what we said. You know, like I, I just said to Jason, uh, you, you know, we know of Mike and his staff and we respect them. And uh, they did exactly what we thought they'd do. Uh, we, we just got to, you know, take every team seriously and um, get ready for every game. And, uh, yeah, you know, I think um, we, we didn't play very well tonight. And, uh, yeah, we got we to gotta be better next week and uh, prepare better and execute better. And I have to say, Coach Frickley told me that him and his team do not pay attention to those numbers, but they are going to be beginning their suit pursuit to win number 60 next week against Dover Iota. While Lord is heading to the other side of town to snap its losing streak, that four-game losing streak they're on, hopefully they could snap it against Red Wing next week. For now, live at the Regional Sports Stadium, Naomi Gray, KTTC Sports. Thanks, Naomi. Out east, Double A's eighth-ranked Lewiston Altura Cardinals played host to Rushford Peterson tonight, first quarter. LA drew first blood. It's going to be Ashton Christie getting to the outside. It's a touchdown for LA. They take a seven-nothing lead. Ensuing drive, RP would tie the game on the one-yard line. QB Malachi Bunky finds Triton Meldahl who pounds it in to tie the game at seven. Later in the first, same score. LA retakes the lead. One play after a TD was called back. The Cardinals score anyway. It's Colin Bono with the house call. LA is up 14 to seven. Final minute of the half, LA putting. It's RP that comes up with the block kick. A huge play on special teams and they cash in on the turnover. Bunky goes up top to wide receiver Justin Ruberg who battles for the ball but hauls it in. That's a touchdown as Lewis and Altura wins this one by 1 point, 28-27. There were three touchdowns scored in the final minutes here with LA winning and also getting an interception deep in their own territory to seal it. Elsewhere, Goodhue with a seven point victory over Medford. We got two more pages here. Fillmore Central beats Wabashaw Kellogg by 16, 28 to 12. Uh, Hayfield goes on the road and beats Cotter at Maxwell Field, 41 to nothing. Also, Bethlehem Academy, Blanks, Kenya Wanamingo, they win 42 0. Winona State hosted Bemidji State in NSIC volleyball tonight, plus two of the top teams in the state 
in high school volleyball dueled in Casson earlier today. That's next on the X. And a rivalry game took place at KM Telecom Stadium where a pair of two and two teams faced off highlights and much more is straight ahead when the Friday night party continues here on KTTC.